Hi, and welcome again with Umbraco Tutorials. Today, we are going to do part three. Uh, firstly, let's give a small recap about what we have done in the previous uh, video. So in the previous video, we have done something about, uh, we download the bootstrap template and we create uh, the home page uh, uh, document type. And also we create the, the, the about, uh, us, I think it was almost about something like that uh, document type. I will show you how we can use that uh, layout and how we can, we are trying to clean it. So today we'll continue on that stuff here. Plus we will talk about the model builder. So I will show you today how you can generate your uh, uh, models that you create in the back office. So I suppose if you create a document type, inside the, that document type there is, let's suppose, uh, title um, or, 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 or many models you can add there, uh, title, site name, uh, uh, body content or something like that. So that that with the Amraco storage. So we'll see together today how I can generate that model to see them and to avoid that seeing that uh, issue with the, well, at this one, what we are seeing here in, in, in the about page. So normally, or what we can do is if you click here in, in the dot here, you'll be able to see the intelligent and you see what you have there in that page rather than just static data. So how we can do that one? So uh, we can firstly, we can go to something called app settings. In the app settings, we have to add a few lines here under Umbraco uh, CMS here. So we'll add something called a uh, model uh, builder. So this, in this model builder, we will have uh, we have to add something called model uh, model mode. So what this model mode? So currently by default on Baco they are using something called build the model in memory. So any uh, so if you create anything in the back office, it will be uh, get classes that will be created in the memory. But if you uh, restart your app or you shut down the app or something happened to the app, so again they will rebuild them. Uh, the issue is with this one, you can't access the, the data from your uh, layout. You will you'll not be able to get them safe. A model dot something to how, how, how we saw in the about page. So uh, that's option. So we don't need it. Well, nothing, uh, we'll do nothing. And uh, source code auto or source code uh, manual. So source code auto, so that's, they say to you, we will generate for you this model only when you run the app while or you rebuild the app. Uh, so the last option is the manual one. So you will see, if you enable this one, you will go to the back office. You will see there is a, a button. You click it. Please generate it for me now, you can say. But for us, let, let's do this one. Let's check it. And the other things here, as you said, I need to see my my uh, my models, where they are. I need to see them. I don't need to always have that uh, red line under, under, uh, under the content that model. So how we can see that stuff here? Just by saying, please generate the models in this path. So you can add that path you want. I think the best thing is we, we added it here on the in the main project on Barco 10 uh, blog. Uh, we can, uh, so this one, uh, my project name should be similar. So the second things I need to say, uh, which folder I need to add? I can say something called models. So they will create now. I'm not seeing that model here. So by default, uh, when you run the app, you straight away you will see that uh, stuff created here. Uh, sometime when you run it for first time, you see error, but I'm hoping in the side will not see any things and we can fix it together if something happened. So here, as you see, we are seeing this error, but uh, this error is still fine because uh, they are not finding that data should be in memory. But we said to, uh, we said in our uh, app settings, we need that data to be in, in this folder. But when Amraco they run, they said, oh, where is that folder? I'm not seeing anything. So in this step, we just need to go to the back office and for only first time, and only once we can do that one, I think, we can go to the model builder. So here they are saying to you here what we have configured already uh, in the in the, the app settings. So they said to you the model as will be uh, auto and the other, uh, the other stuff here too. So let's say like this now, if you generate this one here, we should see something. If you see this model now here, if I open it, so I will see the auto 
dot generate that means auto generated by uh, by Umbraco. I will see everything that I add, it will be in this one. Uh, let's try to go again to the front end still now. Let's run it one more time. So here we are. So after we sec a second run, the file are being generated and they know where are the our models now. That's fantastic till now. So uh, I hope you understand this one and you can get more details about it in Ambracos documentation. So as you see now here, we are not seeing any, any more that uh, uh, red line. So if I do now here, uh, so I want to see what happened when I uh, when when I use the 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 uh, the entity listen here. So after I add that, uh, after we generate the modules here, so now I'm able to access them. They are not in memory now, so they are in this folder. So I can see everything about this uh, this uh, page, let's say, or this document type. So if I back again here, I said, give me my uh, content, uh, uh, sorry, body content. So how easy and more accessible, let's say, here for you. Uh, this one. So the second thing is uh, I want to do here is, uh, uh, as I mentioned before, I don't want to see this layout everywhere. Uh, so if I add any any uh, new page, I should go first thing. I said, oh, please use this one. Please use this one. But I'm, I know here I'm using only only this this layout, so I can I can uh, I can say pre-configure that one. Uh, Rather than every time I say no, please uh, uh, attach that one or uh, or something or, or uh, let's say write it by yourself. So what you can do here, I can go again to the share to the shared here. Oh, no, it will not be in the shared. It will be in the view. Uh, we have the uh, underscore view imports. So in the view here, I will add again something called uh, view. So we'll do here. This one ASP feature, it's not Unbraco things. So in this one, I will create something called uh, view start, underscore view start. So inside this uh, view start, what I will add here, I will add my layout. So I don't know how we can imagine it. So let's say we make our code, I will not say more generic, but uh, let's easier for us now so I don't need to add that stuff everywhere I want or the layout only not everything so if an my project will work without any issue in future if I add a new document type I will have no issue with it but now as you see everything is rendering and working fine without any issue uh, with let's say least code so now let's go to the back office and we as we said uh, we need to tidy the uh, layout so as you see the layout there is many things inside that layout and most of them they are shared uh, where is our layout it is here okay uh, what we can do with this layout so let's la back to the back office here let's create new folder let's call it uh, master or layout or anything uh, inside this master so inside this master I will create one more folder so call it the composition. What is this composition? Which is here data type, uh, sorry, a document type composition. If I click on it. So uh, as we said before, we have many data shared between home page and between the about page and the other page. There is everywhere, there is page title, there is metadata, there is uh, uh, the site name and other stuff so how I can write that stuff or uh, do them once I don't want to do them always uh, each page I go each each document type I go I get that stuff so now I said why not creating composition uh, things uh, colored uh, layout and in this layout I can write let's say uh, I don't need that one let's say uh, uh, site name This will be, let's say, a string. And I need something called, let's say, I want a logo for the site too. We can add logo. And this logo it will be a media. Um, this one, image. 
and also what we can do with this one i think for this one we can call it uh, layout die already so this one can be inherited in each page we want uh, but yeah i think yeah each page we need it will be inherited this one so i will add one more things uh, this one for the layout only i need to add something mo one more and you can call it uh, page let's suppose uh, let's call it here the main page it's it will be okay and in this page uh, we need to add the details for the pages so we can call it uh, page dash page. Uh, as you see in each page if I back to the site here and we copy this one and we go back here again let's just understand what we are doing so in each page we have title we have subtitle and we have this banner in the back too so three things we can they are shared in, in, in the pages so uh, let's say uh, title this will be string and I can add something called uh, subtitle. Let's make it capital. And it should be string two. And last one will be the page. Uh, we call it banner. Capital two, please. And the page banner should be image picker. This one. That's it. Still, I'm sure maybe it's still a bit you are confusing, but we'll do that one in the in the second one. And we'll understand more, let's say. So when we when we inherit that stuff, we'll understand it. Uh, metadata we can add it here, but I will not do it now. Let's say everything's here. So now I will go to the uh, home page. You see the home page, there is no title, there is nothing, but but I have to add this stuff in that in that home page here. How I can do that one? So as you said, that stuff is exist in the home page and also exists in the about page. If I go to about page, also I have here something called in the about page. But I need to uh, include them once. So I don't need to write here in this one. I said, oh, this is your title, or oh, this is your banner, or this one, I don't know what. And again, back to the about page. Also, again, add here uh, more stuff. So now that that will be long and will be boring and will be not good uh, practice. So what we can do, so let's go to, we are in the about page, we can click on composition here, and we say, please, can you include the page uh, properties in this one? And we click save. So if I back now to my, uh, so as you see here, there is something small uh, uh, mark on it, say inherited from page. If I come here, I will see my page title, subtitle, and banner. So let's save them, and we see after that, we can go back to the content, and we see there what's happening exactly with them so now if i go to content again <clears throat> here i will go to the home page uh, sorry um, under the home page about page so i will see something here a new tab which is which one we create together called a page settings so what that mean here so that mean including uh, page settings uh, data type all the data type we add here they will include it under the uh, new about page uh, that file we generate so let's say here uh, we call it about um, let's call this one uh, sub uh, title about page oh capital letter that's fine so let's pick here a page banner uh, we can pick anything from here let's say maybe this one and you say select and save so after we save it here, we can go close this one and we're back to our about page, to the views. Let's go to about. Now it's not in the about here. So this one should be in the uh, in the layout in the header, which is this one will be in the next a few videos we'll not do it now because if you check this header it's shared between all pages so this one will be different story for this one so we can leave it like this just we understand what's mean about now here uh, if i back to my pages i said add uh, model 
Sorry, the letter. Let's say you must have an M. Model. Dot. Let's say a type C firewall. And I just example. I will save this one and just turn it together. And it's just just for example here, I'm either adding this one. So in the next few videos, we'll do more about something called a view component and how we can create that uh, header page to be as a view component to make it easier for us to write that uh, stuff once. So uh, let's wait here and we go to the about page. It should render for us only that stuff we need. Uh, we add here just as an example only for testing test purpose. Uh, so here we are. See, you can see about here. So but I will not uh, leave this one here. I will remove it from here. And I uh, will do it as we said in the next videos. We can use that with the uh, view component. So let's back to the uh, also to the uh, back office here. So most of the stuff we are doing it's about the layout. So if you back here, so in the home page, still I don't have nothing there, but I can call something called a uh, page uh, plus the, the layout in this one. So everything uh, for the layout will be included with the for the home page. I can call everything during uh, from the home page. So let's save this one and also see I'm seeing here the two tabs here. After receiving this one, we can go again to content and remove the support page and see the layout and as you can see the title. Uh, that will bring us to something new so as we said we can maybe we can do in the next video what we can do we can do the uh, the header part so we need the header part to be uh, inherited in each page we open so and as you know the, the the head this one need to include the title and the subtitle plus the banner so how we can how we can do that in in, in this one so we can use something called a view component, which one will do it together in the next uh, video. Uh, so uh, hoping to see you in the next video and uh, hope you are learning from uh, what we are doing with Ambaco. See you in the next video.